Hi, Jennifer Nicely here with Pinnacle Real Estate Academy. I am here again in the Bryant Park in Manhattan, New York, New York. And I am so excited to be here. But I wanted to bring you round two of reverse mortgages. A couple of things that I didn't talk about in the last video. Uh, number one, of how can you use a reverse mortgage to your benefit? And number two, what are the disadvantages or the negativities of reverse mortgages? So first, let's talk about the negativities. Some people can get themselves in trouble with reverse mortgages if this happens. Now, let's say that uh, someone has taken out a reverse mortgage on their primary residence and they've used that money to travel the world. The money's blown. Okay. Uh, they, they didn't put it in investment property, uh, they weren't living off of it and, and using it a little bit at a time, but they went out and they blew it. They went and traveled the world. Well, let's say that this person got sick and they had to move out of their primary residence and they had to move into a nursing home or they had to sell their home to downsize. At that point, they would have to pay back their reverse mortgage. Now, the, the crazy thing is, is if that home they took the reverse mortgage out of is no longer their primary residence, then the full balance is due plus the interest that had been earned. Before, we talked about the reverse mortgage not being due until they died, and that is the case, and that is typical, but someone can get themselves in some trouble if they move out of that primary residence that they took the reverse mortgage out on. Now, what is a positive? How can we use this? Let's say that we have someone who has a 401k, who has a pension plan, who is not worried about retirement whatsoever, but they've paid off their mortgage. And that money that they are live, the house they're living in, the money's just sitting there. You can't die and take it with you. So what do you do with it? My opinion is that person who has that mortgage completely paid off, who has a retirement set up that they don't have to worry about uh, living off of any money, then I say they take a reverse mortgage out on their home and go invest it in an investment property in a very good location. Now, while they are alive and they've bought this investment property, then they need to either flip that property and make money off of it or rent it out. Because while this person is alive, interest is gaining on the reverse mortgage that they took out. So if they live for 20 more years, they have 20 years of interest they haven't touched on, principal or interest. So if they invest that money into a property that can make them money while they're still alive, then it's going to counterbalance the interest that's gained on the reverse mortgage. So that when they die, the heirs have now made a... Uh, in basically inherited an investment property that's probably going to be worth more than the primary residence. So even though they bought an investment property with their reverse mortgage, the bank cannot touch that investment property. They can only touch the primary. So when that homeowner dies, then the heirs inherit the investment property. The retired person, while they've had this reverse mortgage, has made money off of the investment property while using money to purchase the property that they don't have to make payments on. I think it's a win-win. It's a win-win with reverse mortgages if you know how to use them. If you don't know how to use them, you can get yourself in trouble. Because if something happens and it's no longer your primary, then that full balance plus interest is due. Or if you need that money to live off in life and you go blow it on an investment property, then you just wasted a lot more money than you actually earned. If you have any questions, please contact us at PinnacleRealEstateAcademy.com. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.